I got asked a couple of times how to make blueprints or how to find the good blueprints for car models. Honestly I don't know because I never use them. If you want to be a car designer or if you want to be a 3D modeler in a car design studio, you will never be asked to prepare the blueprints. Or you will not even have blueprints to model the car. Because we will focus on designing the new cars always. As a car designer, during my experience, I never seen a blueprint. Actually, I saw a blueprint, maybe a couple of them, in Ital Design. While I was working in Volkswagen Group in Ital Design, I saw blueprints from past for nostalgic reason to show the history of the cars and history of the company. I think they were about the Volkswagen Golf first generation or something. So you don't need blueprints, you can trust me on that. And what do we do instead of blueprints is using the sketches and combining them with reference images and dimensions. If you already have my Blender Beginners course or Blender Advanced Car Design course, you know how I use them. Basically, I find a similar car of the same segment or a similar segment. For example, on the mini model that we do on the Blender Beginners course, I check the dimensions of Mini Countryman. Or for the Alfa Romeo model from the Advanced Blender Car Design course, I use the reference images of other supercars. So I can get a better sense of proportions in 3D. Or from time to time I work on this Gallardo model and obviously I check the original Gallardo side view and some reference images. Not to copy the design, but to copy the proportions and the silhouette and this kind of important elements to make it work better in 3D and to make it more realistic. Because if you just take a sketch and directly put it in 3D, it might be a little bit like, looks like a toy. And the reason is on the sketches we exaggerate some elements, right? Like we generally draw the wheels bigger than how they are because we want to capture this emotion and so on. In 3D we can still exaggerate maybe, especially on the concept stage, but we should be definitely way closer to reality and make it more realistic in 3D. At the end, today we use 3D modeling for design development. Not like in the past finishing the design mostly on 2D on paper and then take it to 3D just to make it perfect. Now you can just have a key sketch, again as I do on my online courses that you can see on my website. Sometimes I just take one sketch, side view sketch and directly start building it on 3D. This way I have better sense of the volumes and the proportions so I can just rotate the model and take a screenshot and go back to 2D, sketch over it and then go back to 3D. So it's a big part of design process now. So if you did something on the sketch and if it didn't work exactly the same in 3D, don't worry because it's the nature of creative process. So basically instead of blueprints, you can use reference images, your own sketch and the reference dimensions. And when you combine them all together and taking care of the proportional elements, you definitely don't need the blueprints. But if you are interested in modeling the existing cars, it's a different story. You can find the blueprints online. But still, you will need to understand how to use the reference images, reference photos of this existing car to put it in 3D in the best way. So it's a very important skill for both modeling a new car, a new design and an existing car to understand these reference images and to transfer the ideas from 2D to 3D. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please show it on the like button. And if you want to see more car design content, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.